What's up, folks? How y'all doing? This Rob Reeves going back at you with well, a little short video. Um, so today's Sunday. I'm planning of working on the LST, but let me tell you, let me show you guys what's the what's been happening. Um, I've been getting parts lately. Um, been getting parts. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Let's turn on all these lights. So I've been getting parts. I've been getting what I need. Got a whole bunch of a whole bunch of parts for this guy right here. Um, already um, and I, I got the gasket, got the new piston ring for it is installed. Oh, I'm waiting for the studs and also a new uh, uh, guys a new pull start spring. Um, yeah, it went uh, it, it got destroyed. Don't know what's going on with that spring. So we got a new one. It, that's gonna be the last one for that thing. If it breaks again, then I'm done with that engine. That engine, I'm sorry, but it's gotta go. I'm gonna just go ahead and get a different um, engine on it. it. Doesn't have to be a 71. It could be something small like a 40. Like this thing has not failed me. I mean, it's the same LX brand, but it has not failed me. With this one right here, I don't know if it's because I mean, if it's because of the, the compression. All that pressure is just causing the... Uh, now, I could put a rotor start in it. But that's that's just going to be a pain in the ass to put a rotor start in that thing. I've been looking into it. Um, this guy is the same. Nothing done with that. Um, so, uh, let's see. Let um, me show you guys. The part did come in. And you know what's funny, guys? Check this out. This is what pisses me off. Um, so, I bought this, right? It wasn't that expensive. It's good to have extra, right? Check this out. So these are ex all the parts that I have in here. As you can see, that's the piston ring, Melosi, um, for ALX 71cc. Let me show you guys a little something right here. Oh, check this out, guys. This sucks, right? Um, I have to order for this guy right here. Um, I have to order a uh, hex, right? But here's the, you see? I got hexes. These are extended hex hexes, right? But guess what? I don't have the little bolt that goes in there to, to tie it down. That I don't have that. And I, I was looking into maybe I could find. I mean, I have a whole bunch of parts here. Look at this. I mean, no, I don't have. If I would have had the, then I wouldn't have to worry about buying. But I have a whole bunch of hexes here and all that. It's too bad. It sucks. It sucks, right? But that's how it is. I've looked in here. I wonder maybe I could find something. And nothing. As you guys can see a whole bunch of parts in there and all that. The bottom one has RC cars in there. You got not seen those. Um, so let me see what I was going to show you guys. Oh, yeah. Check this out. This is what sucks, man. This is what sucks. So I bought the the um, diff cup. The the out. What, what, these are supposed to be transmission out drive cup, right? The transmission out drive cups. Check this out, guys. This just sucks. Look at that. I could have used this. I could have used this. I could have used this. <laughs> you see, that's what I'm saying, dude. This pissed me off because I have. Look. Look. This is... That's the out, out drive, right? Right? You see that? Check this out. I could have used this. I could have used... Uh, let me see. There's more. This is what pisses me off. There goes another one. I mean, this is this is this is just pissing me. And there's look, another one. Oh my god! And this is the nice one though. This is, this he has a little openings on it. I don't know where this came from, but it came from an RC. I just don't remember which one. And, and this is what pisses me off. And that's why I gotta organize my my parts and all that because I can't have this happening. Buying stuff when I have, you know, what I mean, I got. On road shocks and all that. I mean, I got thousands of parts, and, and it pisses me off because I'm buying parts and I don't need it. I don't need it. You know what I mean? Also, look at this. I mean, like I said, I buy parts. Just boxes of little small parts. There's thousands, hundreds of parts in here. Hundreds of parts in there. Shots. Um. Um. Hexes. Um. Um, axles, uh, what else, I mean, check this out, guys, hundreds, hundreds of parts in there that, 
these are toys I gotta get rid of from um other kids. I got more parts in here. Maybe I maybe I, I probably have more stuff in there. And I, I mean I gotta really organize myself and and figure out what the hell I'm doing because I, I just can't be uh, I gotta stop I gotta stop buying parts and then goom here I go. I'm looking into that bin and I find parts that I'm like, yo, I could have used that. You know what I mean? Like those um dip cups, you know what I mean? Those transmission dip cups. I could have used those, you know, instead of buying it, but, and like those, those, um, those hex, that I could use, I'm just missing, and I'm sure, once I, I'm sure I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna buy that, right, I'm going to go ahead and buy the hex, and I'm sure I'm going to find the bolt, the little screws that go inside, I'm sure I'm going to find it in there, I'm sure I will, so I'm going to go ahead, we're going to go ahead and we're going to fix that, that, um, LST, I'm going to go ahead, we're going to put it in here. We're gonna get it fixed. We're gonna put that. I'm gonna get the rear. Um, I'm gonna get the rear diff, the rear um, diff out. We're gonna put the new diff cup in it, and I might run it today. I think I'm gonna run it for a little bit. I haven't tested it out. Last time I did took it out, it, it was giving me that problem. It wasn't the rear was not working. So, um, let me see if I could do this like Kevin Tallbalt. Damn, there you go, guys. She is back again. All right. Now, like I said, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to put some fuel in this sucker. We're going to put some fuel in it. We're going to take it out. We're going to run it. I want to see how, how it acts. Um, put the new diff cup in. Let me show you guys. There it goes, the new one. Put red lock tie on that sucker. She ain't coming out anytime soon. But check this out, guys. This worries me. I want you guys to pay attention to this. Hear this out. That front diff is gone. So, future plans. Get a front diff for this thing. It still works. But she'll be gone soon. I have to get a brand new diff, front diff for that thing. And that's the plan for it in the future. A whole new diff. Um, the front diff, the rear diff are perfectly fine. I checked it. I broke into it. Everything is beautiful on that one. But I might get another diff for it. I might see if I have something. Maybe I have something in my two, in my parts bins. I don't know. We'll, we'll check that in. I got I gotta clean my parts bin, see what what I have. If maybe I have extra gears for the diff. I don't know. Maybe I bought years ago and I don't remember. You know, those parts are stuff that I've been collecting for years, years of just collecting parts. Who knows? I might have something in there. I don't know. If not, then I'll just go ahead. I seen I seen the 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 gears for the diff on sale on eBay. They do sell them still. So. Let's go ahead. Let's put some natural fuel on this thing. Let's get her started. Let's see how she acts. All right, guys. And um, like Kevin Talbot. Now, I'm not trying to copy him. I'm just messing around. <laughs> All right, guys. We're outside. Don't mind the mess. I don't know what we're going to do with this. Okay. We're outside. Let me put you guys here for, for, for meanwhile. I'm going to see if we can crank her up. We're using 30% natural fuel on this one today. So, let's see how she acts. All right. She's prime. Hopefully she primes. So she primes you if I do the... Hmm. Oh. All right. It's even working? I highly doubt it. It's not even working. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. We're good. We good. Oh yeah. Oh, you know what? She did prime, guys. Oh, that's that's. She did prime. All right. All right. Let's get her started. Guess what? Look at look at this, guys. Works perfect now. No more inter interference with the receiver. 
works beautifully now. Now let's see if she has she has charge on this thing. guys this thing the carb is not great so the carb needs to be changed so you just gotta see what it's doing right so the carb needs to be changed i need to put a new carb in there and uh so yeah we're gonna go ahead run it a little bit more she's warming up a little bit we do have 30 percent nitro fuel in there let's see how she feels we're gonna go ahead and put you guys here up a little bit. She is running super rich and I prefer that on 30%. Let's see how warm she gets. That rear dip really does work, man. Got that thing nice and fixed now, guys. Look at her jump. Look at her. That carb needs to be changed. I will be putting a new carb in there soon. And probably built this one. Let's warm her up a little bit. Hopefully she won't break that, that rear. But if she does, we'll have to put a harder one in there. Let's see how she feels. Still cold, 177. But as you guys can see, that car is not doing it any favors. And I gotta definitely put a new car in that engine. She's not warming up, that's good. If she's not getting hot, we're going to get her hot a little bit to start cleaning it. She looks like she's running lean. So let's let her warm up a little bit. And we'll, and we'll whip her up a little bit. the low speed a little bit. Definitely better with this receiver, guys. 
feels way better with this receiver. Let's get you guys a little bit closer in. Get you guys a little bit closer. Does feel better, that's for sure. I think she's perfect right there. Remember, she is running 30%. She will run a little bit leaner. There you go. Calm down a little bit more calmer now. A little bit calmer now, guys. That rear seems to be perfect now. Running great right now, guys. Running real cool. There she goes. A little jump right there. I can't see what I did right there. That's something hitting right in my eye. I'm sure it's hitting you guys. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. Look how hot she's getting. She's a screamer, that's for sure. That's for sure. Ah, I lost the body thing. Ah, damn it. Ah, damn it. We're reaching up the low speed a little, little bit more. Lifting up that front guy. Check that out. Check that out. She's lifting up that front. Feeling good. Feeling good. Let's see how she's doing. Hold on. I think she's doing better. I go good. 220, not bad. Woo, look at that. I'm gonna keep it right there. I think I'm gonna keep it right there. Feels nice, guys. Feels nice. That front diff is completely shit. We definitely have to get that fixed. But you can tell now the power is coming from the rear now. So we've got better power in the rear. I think that's good right there. Oh yeah, that rear is completely gone, guys. Yeah, that rear is completely gone. That not not the rear, the front. I can go even leaner on the. Hold on, guys. I could be even leaner. One ninety one. 
Let's lean out a little bit. Idols like a chat. Feels good, sounds good, I think. The card is not gonna be good, but it's working, guys. It's working. That feels good, that 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 fun. She's almost running out of fuel. Tell you what, guys, but she is idling like she is idling like a champ. I tell you that. Damn it! I gotta find a better way to do this. Better way to do this thing. Feels great, guys. I'll tell you that. Feels real good. Oh, wow. That was crazy, guys. But you know what? I have courage that this thing won't break. I mean, I, I have you guys seen what Haywire does to his? There you go. Yeah, we're going to have to richen out the low speed. She's building up too much on the bottom. But we're running out of fuel anyway, so we're going to keep it like that for now. I think, guys, it finally gave out. I think the front just finally gave out. I think it did. I think it finally gave out. I'm feeling all the power going to the back instead of the um, the front.
we could lean out a little, a little bit of the, um, that's it. The control on this thing is so nice. Look at that. Ooh, ooh. Something got, she got stuck in the stud there. I gotta get rid of that. Come on, baby. Get you out of there. Let's make sure she's not too hot. I think we're doing good, guys. Not bad. I can lean around a little bit, but we're gonna keep it like that for now. I don't know how much fuel we got left, but better. That's a lot of power there, guys. I don't know how much juice you guys left, but let's see. That's it. I think she did real good. I could, like I said, I could lean her out a little bit more, but I don't want to do that because I am going to be using 20% on it soon. We're just using 30 for now. Let's go ahead. Let's check out this engine. I did hit her hard right there. Hmm, look at that. It's perfect. Perfect. All right, let's get you guys situated. All right, guys, what do you guys think, huh? We're going to put that piston. We're going to richen her up, lean her out a little bit on the low speed. I think we should be good. Let's go ahead and uh, put you guys back in here so I can make sure we run out of fuel completely. I like to leave fuel in there, guys. Make sure she's out of fuel. I'm mean, going to clean her up a little bit. She's filled with dirt. But, yeah, she, she's, she's empty. Oh, yeah, she's empty. That's a beauty, guys. I think with a better carb, she would be better. She's running super rich. That's nice. Let's get her up. One more. power in the front dip that's good we do have some power in the front dip but you can tell it slips here and there but Newcomers.
always empty out your tank and your engine. Do not leave nitro fuel in there. Tip number two, never leave your piston on top. Always bottom dead center. That means your piston is in the bottom. It's sitting down on, on inside the, the crankcase, not on top. Why? And I'll tell you why. Because your engine heats up. Your engine will expand. So what you want is when that engine starts cooling down, you want it to shrink back up again. So that way you can keep that beautiful compression, that pinch. That's what you want. You want that tight pinch. And that's why this engine is still alive. That's why this engine, after many, many, more than 10 years, I think, it still has compression. It still has pinch. Because I always make sure that that piston is bottom depth center. So that way, when the engine will, when the engine will cool down, guess what? It will go right back to where it belongs. All right, guys, take it easy.